Hey guys, what's up? Now we've got almost 10,000 gems from 20% sell. Yep, this is summer sell, spring. I don't know, but I'm just happy and I bought some gems. And of course, I'm going to spend them right now in this video. So, Watch this video to the end, at the end, rate it, comment, share your opinions, and of course, share it with your friends. So, well, I've got over 8000 shirts. Now, in very, very, very fast forefront, I will look at my hero talents because unneeded heroes I will aid. So, which one are unneeded? This with low level talents. It doesn't um, make a difference. 1 5 revitalize or 1 5 scorch. 5 5 revitalize, 5 5 scorch. Both of them are giving the same, same amount of might. So, higher level talents I'm going to lock. And such a talents like 1 5 to 5, I'm just going to eat them. Consume to my pumpkin. Yeah, he needs some experience to be 7 of 9. So, let's consume also same time of heroes, it gives you more experience, so in Garrison they will give more points, and Garrison of course is very very important if you are trying to farm higher heavy monsters. Now, in previous update they added new spots in your heroes altar, so let's unlock these new spots. And it will help me a lot in getting my Pumpkin Duke to higher skill because spending so many shirts with only one or three spots is very time eating and um, it takes a lot of time. Nothing, nothing. Crystal loose. Yummy, yummy, blue. Sacrifice heroes for my punk duke and a big big army of werewolf dryad. Oh, werewolf! Oh, paladin! Yeah, legendary hero. I'm not complaining with not good talent, but anyway, this is legendary hero. He will give me more might than elite or ordinary. So I'm happy, but I need Cupid, yeah. This is one of the legendary heroes that are must have. Whoa, 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 Thunder God and Cycle Bulls in same role. So, any one of you want to say me that I'm not lucky? But anyway, these legendary heroes are not Cupid. And with not best talents, but legendary heroes is legendary. Oh, oh, a lot of heroes are needed. Let's consume ordinary at first. No. Let's roll for talents. Yeah. 1 5 deadly strike. It's a good talent for ninja, but maybe heavy blow will help me also, or slow down. 1 5 heavy blow, mm. To be honest, 1 5 is not so good. Oh, 3 5 berserk. I'm not sure if I should keep it or not. Because Deadly Strike on Ninja is powerful, very powerful. But with Zerg, Ninja will hit faster and proc faster, do more damage. So, Immortal right now, let's keep Deadly Strike and roll more. Tenacity only 1 5. Ah, only 1 5 is not enough to keep. And wow! 
we've got another Berserk. I'm not complaining, Berserk is a really good talent. Not better Berserk. Oh, 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 oh. 4 5 sprint. He would be very, very fast. But nah, I've got already 5 5 sprint. Great, and the only good point of sprint is DPS in Arena. 4 5 Enlightenment. Nah. Enlighten, we only cap my heroes because I don't have too much over budgets. So let's keep 2 5 for Vitalis, what is very good in boss fights arena. Not best, but better than nothing. Better than Scorch or Blade Shell. Revive, 4 5 for 5. Then. 4 5 revive is a good time, but 4 5 blade shell is a better time. <laughs> nah, let's keep just berserk. Revive on ninja would be very great in arena because ninja is the fastest hero, so he's going first in shrine and he's dying first. This is the main problem of ninja. So after his death. Enemy heroes would target other heroes and ninja will just secretly attack and assassinate their heroes. So now the army of werewolves. Yeah. Werewolves, werewolves, everywhere. Oh this guy copied my previous base design. Now I'm trying to use another one but this one is working pretty good. Uh, he's joking that he made it by himself and right base. This is not the best base I can see. Some major mistakes. Mm, he should put buildings farther and of course he needs mm, more walls. I would suggest him to put some buildings outside because he has too many buildings inside. Oh, okay, okay. So, for every beginner, there's a little, little tip range heroes' troops have four square attack range. And other thing, also interesting, not only for beginners, if the uh, enemy hero troop or anything target your hero building especially building uh, from left side it doesn't matter if you can hit it from bottom or top faster or, or if this is in his range now he's going to whole way around just to hit the same building from left side because this point was his first target, the closest in in straight lane. Doesn't matter if he had to walk longer. So now let's eat some tasty, yummy, yummy heroes, and let's feed my pumpkin duke with my new random first level elite heroes. We've got an army of werewolves. And it's not urban legion. Werewolves are creating the secret group in Castle Clash. Every time you roll for heroes, you won't get your Cupid, you won't get your Pumpkin Duke. You will receive just this damn werewolves. So how to fix it? You have to eat all your werewolves. Just consume them. Sacrifice. Kill them. You cannot have werewolves. And right now I have a lot of plays in my hero's altar. And really fast, 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 fast spending. Hard. Really, really hard farmed. Shirts, sweet shirts, so sweet. 
I know that I'm a very 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 big noob in farming for shards sometimes losing heavy monsters because of uh, weak strength of connection 3G, 4G not always Wi-Fi mm, and just look at it his skill is going so fast it's already half of the way so basically it took me one month to fa farm 9000 shirts I know that there are players that can without any problems farm 9000 in 9 days they are just normal players farming all the time in dungeons and they can farm over 1000 shards daily from human monsters and from dungeons without losing any chances and in my case I'm losing a lot of human monster chances uh, ooh. Oh, he must have chances also, but I confused it. I I was trying to say that I'm losing a lot of uh, dungeon chances. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That looks pretty amazing. Creepy seven of nine pumpkin duke. Wow, with his amazing four five heavy build. Two and a half seconds tune during boss fight. After his procs, he's going to hit faster. Just shoot them a little bit faster. And attacking faster is going to give me more chances to make another seal. Oh, it's very hard to advise some mm, people about their bases, especially if this is Devbox or some similar bases, because I'm doing uh, much better with diamonds, and I can advise you in some in all diamond types. But Devbox, I have a pure mm, knowledge about how the box works about how we should put walls, how to cut um, something about uh, thick walls three or two layer or just one is enough it's very very hard and when I'm trying to use the box I'm losing a lot of hero monster chances because enemy heroes are breaking through walls or I'm just wasting walls with too many layers of them and personally for me setting uh, diamond designs is much easier but I know a lot of players <sighs> uh, sorry I know a lot of players that prefer using dev boxes thanks for watching See you soon, don't forget to like, share with your friends, comment and stay tuned, bye!